the illustrious Sorry, can I have that again? Grim I Todd. Recording. Oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> Do we need to start all there's, of that again? There's no, no, your no, no, one no. oops I, for the I, night. I streamed. I have the audio separate, but the video I, I started recording. So um, this is part six, the world of Rotram. We're back. You've probably watched the last five episodes. You know who we are. You know what we're playing. And we're picking up after the bug fight scene at the campground. Good enough. That Take I may have inadvertently <laughs> started by accident. Yeah, really. I'm a troublemaker. Yeah, you need to remember you are true. Yeah, I know. Yes. So <laughs> I'm supposed to be one. Well, with, I mean, one with this, nature, and this I want to just fight. <laughs> This this is turning out to be a habit of yours. Um, <laughs> attack nature, and then be surprised when it bites back. He's just um, excited. He hasn't played in a long time. Well, so. he's, he's, his first level. He's like our rookie druid, right? Uh, maybe uh, I need to go uh, to AA. I'm... Attack attackers anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> is there a twelve step program for that? <laughs> yeah, it it turns you into a barbarian. Um, All right, two axes <laughs> in one in each hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Carry um, on, Jared. Sorry. Okay. Oh, so you, you guys you managed activate the permission to move thing. I've been trying um, to figure this out for a while. So yeah, uh, up. So those of you we that have been listening and watching, you know the little problems we've been having. Um, and I play around with stuff on our breaks. And one of the things I played around with was the locks and all the little fun gadgets. So when you pull up an encounter map. Uh, those of you who are DMs and know what I'm talking about when you make an encounter on a map, pre-designed, ready to go, so that when your players come in, you just have to click the encounter, hit the go button, and everything loads in. Well, one of the lovely little things, like everything else, is a little lock. You know, it looks like a normal lock, like everything else has on here. You where unlock we, where, that. Where do we find this? Just by right-clicking on um, the map? No, uh, the DM, I think, is the only one who can see it on the maps, but okay. it's up on the right-hand side where the X, the question mark, and the uh, full-screen button is. Okay. Um, it's right next to the ID name and junk. It's it's right there. You click on that, and then all of a sudden, you have a new tool toolbar. And it seems that if you can, Jeff, can see stuff on there, then that means that all those lovely little tools probably work for you, too, uh, as players. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Still learning, still yeah, relearning, including, I guess. Including targeting. See, guys, there's targets up here we can drag. Yep. That was, like I said, it's I it's still that. Fantasy Grounds, but sometimes they move things, and if you haven't touched it in two years, you know, you've got to relearn some stuff. <coughs> mm. Cough, cough. Um, so, no. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping this will work out better now, this time around. Yeah, we learned targeting after the fight. But that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, we still have the druid. He's still alive. You want to go poke the bear again? No, 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 oh, no. no, 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 no. Been there, done that. Got the t-shirt, the tattoo, and the hat. Thank you very much. All right. So, Mr. Beetle did back up, and he is currently happy where he is, content. He used a lot of energy. Big creatures, you know, they they lose they use a lot of energy when they're not magical and and crazy powerful. Uh, so it's it's resting. Um, you guys have ended a battle that, um, well, unfortunately, Mifrit almost died again, um, again from a single attack again. And um, our resident alchemist, uh, who is demonstrating a very good skill set of healing people, um, still waiting for Frankenstein's monster to appear. But hey, we can only hope. That's that's next week next weekend's project. <laughs> now we've got Ock. You're injured, if I remember correctly. Yes, you are injured. You took a a, a foot pounding uh, after attempting to attack. And for those of you who missed it, uh, go back listen. It was very entertaining. He uh, kept a hold of his weapon though, and uh, you know danced danced very well. Yes. Uh, so yeah, now you're in this encampment. The the giant beetle is done. You have the mission. Let's see if I can remember which one. Oh, this we were is. we were supposed to uh, check on some miners. Correct. Now is that like underage campers dead, or or people that dig in the side of the mountain? Um, you weren't actually given a number. Uh, it's people, uh, a group of people who were sent out here to dig through the mountain. Um, they've been here for about a year. 
uh, they should be almost finished and the resident foreman should have been here waiting to give you a progress report he is not here he is actually uh you don't know um you haven't had time to really search the encampment here yeah so that's what we do now is we search the encampment yes. how injured is Ock? Uh, um Ock currently <laughs> <Hurting back>. has <laughs> 13 wounds all right um joey even quieter than last time but i can do, do i have medicine. uh oh. do i have the ability to heal him do i have do you have the uh medicine skill well, or I have, a I, healing I, I, spell. I have a heal spell, yes. Okay. So go. let's um, uh, let's travel. Is that me right there? Yeah. Let's yeah. Tra let's travel. Oh, wait. I don't want to know how far that is. I want to travel <laughs> over here to Og. All right. You should. Okay. So for whatever reason, that's you not working. It. Um, that's because you're not. We're still in combat tracker. So here, I'll just bring. There you go. You should be able to move now. Can you? I'm, I'm curious, actually, to no. see if this works. Nope, you can just... Mm. Okay, but I've okay got... well, I know where you want to go. You want to go to Ock. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We want to go to Ock. And, uh, Magical I... teleportation activate. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, and I'm going to cast a heal spell. Can I, tar okay. can I target Ock? You, yes, you can target friendly. Um, there is target friendly... You sh let me. Yeah, you're target friendly. There you go. All right. So, can you target me for? Uh, can you yes, target? I will grab the thingy and drop it on him. There you go. You are targeted. Okay, so we'll go for on a, Ock. We'll go for a cast. Yep. Okay, where's my cast? There we go. And we're going to go for a heal of one d eight. It's a two. It's not much, but it's something. Yeah, look at that. Ock is. I did that. Huh. I don't think it actually got applied. Very strange. It, it did. It did. It's there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. All right. I'm now gonna, I'll, 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 check. I'll we'll just fix I'll, you right up. I'll heal myself now. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now the question is, how do you target yourself? You sure you don't want my medical opinion? You should just be able... I think you should just be able to click on your token okay. and then just use it. Can you just give us drop, permission drop, to move drop, around? Or unlock drop the map? my token type thing? There's a whole bunch of where we want to go listed. But <laughs> nobody's moving. Uh, Mr. Festering Toe, you sure you don't want my yes. medical opinion? Yes. Let's uh, see if you can move around now. Nope. No. Okay. Uh, well, we'll figure this out later. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah. W so you were you able to heal yourself? No. Okay. So you got what was it? A only two hit points. Is that right? That I've received. Yes. Yes. And you wanted to heal yourself. So how much can you heal yourself for? Uh, lay on hands for one d six. All right, let's uh, let's do that then. Ock. Let's give you a target reticle on yourself. Okay. There we go. Um, now it's good to go. Your turn, good sir. Let's let's see this. Here in action. There's my lay on hands. Uh, that's all good. <laughs> Does it do it just base damage or? That uh, 1d6, so here, I'll just roll it. Okay. Three. Uh, if you can fix that. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Thank you. So you're at 10 wounds, hopefully. No. Eight. Eight wounds, yeah. Yay! There we go. Much better. There we go. All right. So... Uh, I there we go. Move. I had I to unlock move. the tokens. There uh, we go. Huzzah. Yeah. 
All right, there we go. So you have to have the tokens unlock people for people to move tokens. Imagine that. Who would have thought? DM failed his intelligence check. Check the chat there, Joe. Um, I want to do some more medicine on him if he'll have me as his doctor. Uh, so. Yeah. Um. So what do you guys want to do? I mean, we're basically open so long as Mifrid continues to pay attention to the um, bug friend and not make bug enemies. We should, you should all should be good. I so you could have free I will, reign. I will stick close here to our bug friend for a moment for now, while the rest of you uh, want to search around if you would like. Yeah, we search the encampment. Are you still wounded, Mr. Ock? A little. Would you like my help? Sure. All right. Let's... 26. Critical success. Yeah. yeah, that will definitely, uh, you will definitely get. He paid up front. Yeah, he <laughs> did. <laughs> Why can't I? Oh, what do we got you here? You want to roll? Critical, critical. Hang on. I've got it here. Treating wounds. Let me... Critical success. Target regains 4d8. That's 4d8, Mr. Uh, Magical Healer. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yippee skippy. So roll. <laughs> Rub it in, then roll. 16 points. 16, so you're at full health, good sir. Yay. Um, Ooh, there you go. Nice and shiny green again. So, mm. um, is that the tent we're looking through first? Joe? That's the tent yeah. I'm You're at, yes. You're literally fading. <laughs> Can you check the chat? Yeah. Yeah, the, it's right here. So, Danny, <laughs> no, what? That's not what are I you just you. going in and searching, and, and or do you have gain, a plan? I'm already up. Uh, your gain and your well, level? Yeah. Can I see inside the tent currently? Like I mean, the temp. You you can easily push the temp flap aside, but most okay, of the time. Okay, so yeah, are just I move up. I move it aside and have a peek in. Um, it looks like it was definitely a, a group tent. There's eight cots along the side with travel, um, uh, armoire type stuff. You know, a little travel desk next okay. to about all of the cots. Nothing too fancy. No no chest of drawers nothing no like that just or, or... Uh, no not in this one this one it looks like it was a worker's tent you do go ahead and make a perception check though okay please. if you want any more detailed information perception. Alrighty, i will do that Fifteen. look at you being all spotty spotty um <laughs> you've see in the corner of this tent there seems to be a um, big old uh heap of like scrap metal in the corner you're not really it doesn't look like much but it looks like a bunch of scrap metal no okay well i go it, go and search yeah. through it yeah it, it's you know scrap it's metal scrap it looks metal? like um do you have crafting or I don't think so, like lore that. engineering or I have lore games? Mm, that's not going to help you. It's scrap metal. It looks like scrap metal to you. Okay. Um, you could do an intelligence check to try to um, glean additional information. All right. But it will be a higher DC than someone else per se. Nope. Ooh. It's Ouch. metal. <laughs> it's Yeah, someone someone decided to start collecting scrap metal. Okay. All right. Um let's go ahead to uh Mifrit. Let's let's start with you, good sir. You go ahead and make a nature check if you want, if you will. Or sure, let's where's my nature there? I want you good. all to feel what it feels like. Attack my friends. Fifteen. Ooh, okay. Um, the 
it's not pissed off at you or anything, but it's now starting to it's starting to go the other way on the uh, friendly scale. It's it's gone from neutral to uh, to kind of not really happy that you're exerting effort on him. Um, he's trying to take a nap, and here you are, you know, telling it it needs to take a nap. He's not happy about that. <laughs> what happens if I just back off and walk away? And um, a knowledge nature check would help you there. A knowledge nature check. Well, you know what I mean. A, a nature check. Another nature check to uh, discern the... 21. Um, You know that so long as there isn't any direct threat that nobody really does anything. And maybe if you like went back down and grabbed that leg that was sticking out of that tent and have someone just kind of like toss it at him. So he's kind of like a happy yeah, little kid with his chew toy. Um, it, he'll probably be content for a while. Hey, Ark, you want to toss that leg over here? <laughs> I suppose I could. A little bit of a strange request. Uh, you're a little closer than I am before Mr. Bug here decides to eat us all. And I will do that then. And while we're doing that, well, let's see how close Ark gets to Mr. Bug with his tossed leg. There you go. Do I need to make a roll? I mean, if for you're this? actually going to throw it, then yeah, I'm going to need a strength check. Oh, that's easy enough. Uh, make plus, it good. you know. Hawk, Hawk, you're the man. If you can't do it, somebody else can. <laughs> yes! Look at you throwing it like a boss. It like sticks its head up and like grabs it in its mandibles and hunkers back down. Looks content now. We got a new Olympic sport here. Leg throwing. Mm -hmm. And while we're at that, I'm going to take the opportunity. I'm assuming I have some time to stride maybe down here. Yeah, totally. Right, you, you've got that opportunity. Um, all right. Ock. Yes. You, you've, well, I'll say you've got like another action left. So what would you like to do? I will just stand guard and let everybody do their searching. Okay, um, Dr. Quack. Quack? 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 Doc? Quack. Player's Handbook, Core, Second Edition, Gnome Names, Quack. <laughs> the doctor is throwing you off because it sounds like... <laughs> Dr. Quack. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a quick doctor, I can... Anyway, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm happy that everyone looks in uh, ship shape and aren't bleeding and all that type of it... I will join in the search, pick an area that they're not looking in, and, you know, help. Okay, go ahead. Uh, back of this tent. The Actually, I am interested in the bodies. Um, personal belongings, loose chain, shoes that fit me better. But, uh, you know, the actual more investigation into how they died might be a good idea. Uh, okay, you want to go search the bodies. Go right ahead. Um, I will move you over to the bodies. So, um, perception? And, yeah, go ahead. Eight. Now, there's no taking 10 or taking 20 in this, but there is taking time. I've noticed uh, in Age of Ashes, they talk about, like, make a perception check. That's an action. Or it's like if the players state they spend at least 10 minutes searching a room, right. it reveals results. So as long as we're not attacked, I just comment to the others that we should just slow our roll and take as much time as we feel yep. we need. Um, what is your medicine skill? Uh, plus four. Four, I think. And you're trained, right? You're not an expert. Yes, that's right. Plus four. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can go with that. We can we can take the ten minutes of you, um, very meticulously, you know, separating the bodies, trying to, you know, are we missing a leg? Who's missing a leg? You know, uh, the, the the whole. Yeah. Why don't these socks match? It's just driving me mad. Oh. Start over. That is definitely a male <laughs> leg. That's definitely a female leg. You know, that's. That was definitely half work. <laughs> that then one's... I give my creature life. Oh, never mind. That's next weekend. <laughs> yeah. Elixir of life, right? <laughs> Just pouring it on like gravy. There <laughs> we go. It'll do fine. So, yeah. Okay. Um, and then we'll go back to the top then. Uh, Danny, what are you, what are you going to do for this 10 metal. minutes? 
Maybe somebody okay. else will know what it is. I found scrap metal. All right. You're informing people you found scrap metal. Yes. Uh, does I anybody want to take that up? Look that up? Or are you just going to go take it and put it back in your cart? Can I cast the detect magic on it? Yeah, you can detect magic. There's my spell. Um, there, it is. there is some magic. Uh, transmutation a little bit, a little bit of enchanting, a whole boatload of other things that you can't really discern easily but if you know it doesn't look like it was intentionally harmful it almost looks like um nature has taken its course uh a lot quicker than it should have i thought the new detect magic was suckier than the old one that was like a boatload of info yeah it's it's mostly just auras about what schools of magic hmm. and you know that's the that's um, that's the way i'm taking it oh, yeah. he's no, someone just, who's second no I, I i'm just explaining my thought process yeah yeah, yeah. um no, i was i was he's a druid it wrong so oh you know mm -hmm. he would notice something that's not na natural yeah so that's definitely not natural all right so i'm going to explain to the group what i find maybe more specifically to danny since danny has discovered her scrap metal and uh, suggest maybe that we maybe hold on to this. I'm wondering, does anybody have any opinion on what we might be able to do with this? Mm, I don't even know what it is. It's metal. <laughs> Put it in the armored cart. Actually, if we have room in the armored cart, it might make us some cash later. All right, so does somebody want to go get the armored cart? Or are you going to take the walk back and forth every time? Uh, well, how about if I just put them down for now and continue okay. searching uh, the rest of the encampment? All right. We'll just start a pile, I guess. Sounds like a plan. Let's start a start a cache or a stash of stuff that we're going to maybe hold on to. All right. Um, Danny likes to steal things, so. Mifrit, your that. turn then, good sir. Huh. Well, Anything you want to do it's in this ten minutes? It's just some intuition I have. Yes. Um, Are you missing something, sir? Not that I know of. Should I be? Did you steal something from me? Do you want to go inside this tent with me? No. <laughs> uh, how about I stride over here and okay. uh, poke my head inside the tent and see what we've got. I lock him All in right. there. Oh. <laughs> I'll say you take. <laughs> I'll say you take the needle and thread. It's yep. Tent. <laughs> stitch, 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 stitch. Yeah. Um, lock him in the tent. You're gonna take the full ten minutes to do a thorough search. Yes. Okay. Um, Ak, what about you? Just waiting for everybody to finish their searching. Well, you can help okay. <laughs> help search goes fast. And I wasn't even quiet about it. I was brazen and bold. Yes, you were. <laughs> All right. Hey, doctor. No brazen and bold with the characters. Doctor, you've spent a good 10 minutes deciphering and, and trying to um, categorize wounds and figure out what was actually done in trauma and what was done uh, in the course of a day of work for these men who, and women who are digging this tunnel mm. and through most of it you're you're kind of confused um, most of these wounds look like they happened after death um, like the beetle definitely showed up here after these six individuals had died um, that's the other thing you find out is there's six individuals here um, mm -hmm. And this place should have had close to 30. So you're wondering, of course, I'm guessing you're putting two and two together and realizing you're missing a good handful of people. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing you're noticing is if you would give me a medicine check, 
there is a poison. That. There, there is traces of poison, and you need to identify which poison that is. Oh yes, injected, ingested, contact, eight. <laughs> They're not poisoned. This is just gang gangrene from poison ivy. They seem to have had a really bad contact reaction poison, to poison, poison ivy. ivy. Yes. Um. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. I would actually allow you to take another 10 minutes because that wouldn't sound right to you. Like you're like, wait, what? Um, so if you want to take another 10 minutes to properly identify the poison, I will allow that. Well, I'll take a break. I'll inform the crew of my findings. Hey, everyone, we're missing a lot of miners. And the results of the tests of my uh, autopsy is a little inconclusive. Please remain calm and continue searching the camp. But if you find any signs of foul play, please alert me immediately. Make my notes and, you know, fresh pair of eyes. Go back inside. Hey, uh, Ook. Ock. Ock. <laughs> He's going to beat you with that squirrel slayer one of these days. Ock. <laughs> yes. Your military and uh, ancestry training. Uh, could you loan me a hand? I'd like a fresh opinion on this uh, morbid situation inside the tent here. Alright, fair enough. What's your medicine check? <laughs> we go in the tent and compare size of our medicine checks. <laughs> What's that sure about going inside, inside the this? tent? I got told no, she wouldn't. I mean, is, I oh, got, sorry, yes, the body's carry right on. Inside tent. There you go. Medicine of 19. <laughs> okay, I, I ate him? <laughs> yes. Yes, it would. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a really big 21. staff. Okay, right, Ock, you yeah, notice. <laughs> so, Ock, you notice that on a few places on these bodies, uh, they have puncture wounds. Um, a quick search in one of their robes, you find uh, the broken pieces of what looks like a needle out of a blowgun. And after some more, just your, your military side kind of kicked in a little bit, and you start looking at the the clothing they're actually wearing and not the wounds and you realize that three of these six individuals were probably mages based on the component pouches and junk that you find still on their bodies hmm. interesting look at dr quack is this one of yours <laughs> holding up the blowgun needle <laughs> it looks like it would fit your blowgun by the way um <laughs> This isn't a criminal investigation. Just facts, <laughs> please. If we get the other two over here, get their opinion. At least get them back on camera. Hello. Yeah. Um. So during that ten minutes, and we that you guys have been searching um, that room, hi. Uh, those tents. Um, Mifrit, you kind of find a journal. Mm. Um, kind of find a journal. Yeah, it's it's an older journal. It's dirty. It's uh, definitely it's not the cleanest thing. And you manage to find a journal. It's called Play Journal. Um, and I will share this with you guys. So I'm going to inspect the journal a little bit. Does it have? any does it have a name or anything like that it should be in the chat you should be able to pick that oh, up I now see this. it's old uh barely nothing that would have been given to this crew this definitely looks like someone found something you know, while making digging through the tunnel just the amount of dirt and the fact that half the pages are missing and you mm -hmm. know well, for the podcast viewers, this is what I read. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> podcast viewers? That's right. The podcast viewers. <laughs> okay. They know who I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. We found... Go on. It just struck me. <laughs> we found it today. Proof that things from the old world are different from the relics. North of survival, past the ruins of the old city, we made it through. Of course, it wasn't easy, but it matters not. The things that came out of the ruins seemed to be on a schedule after a month of observation we got past. Our guides did not worry, want to worry about the Titans, and I can agree this is much more important. We found it, a fully intact relic. 
100 feet tall, 32 feet wide, but that's all we can see above the ground. It's some kind of temple or possibly a metaphorical doorway. So much has been lost. Most of this is speculation that this was manufactured that I'm sure of the edges or clean construction is superb nature herself stays away from it. And that will be the end of the entry. So are you going to share that with everybody or is yes, it? Absolutely. Uh, I thought he was reading you, it out loud. <laughs> he was reading it for the podcast viewers. Don't you know? Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> but yes, I will share that with everybody and uh, show them what I've found. That's a little bit of a ominous uh, omen finding a huge relic and now they're all dead. Maybe. Um, You're guessing this journal is actually a lot older than this crew. Like I said, this this was probably found in the tunnel. Um, you're you're not. Oh, okay. Sorry. So it's can, not like minor Bob's daily. You know. Right. We found nuggets. We're can cataloging. I cast the detect magic specifically on the journal? Yes. Enchantment. Um. Yeah, enchantment magic. A lot of enchantment magic. Uh, like old school, like you know, there was a lot to begin with, but it seems to. It's kind of like it was so strongly enchanted that even after all this time, it's still kind of seeping out. If that makes sense. It does. So we definitely have some old, very powerful old school magic here, I would assume. And Danny, after taking a, f a full time upending all the cots and cutting open the pillows and, <laughs> okay. um, you know, shredding everything in in this tent because you're just really metal. That's all you guys have for me. <laughs> um, you do manage to find uh, 30 silver pieces, uh, two daggers and a broken arrowhead. Okay. I get a journal, you get cash? No. Yeah. What the heck? So, um, and then since Dr. Quack has asked everybody to come over here and look at his findings, um, are you both going to go over there? He wants me to go look at dead bodies? Apparently, yeah. He wants mm -hmm. your professional opinion on something, I'm guessing. Examining the wounds, we've all have our specialties okay. in combat. Uh, I'm and... not a medic. No, but you know what a stab wound looks like. You know what an arrowhead looks like broken off inside the body. And you don't? I do. I just I have a few theories. He rolled really badly. I I rolled... Oh. No, I'm confused with these <laughs> theories rolling. I could overguess. He's lightheaded. Nate's... Okay. <laughs> I... I guess I will make my way over to him. Okay. I might have eaten that aloe vera plant earlier. I don't know. <laughs> and how was it tasting? Was it good for your skin? So what would you I'm like glowing, to do? Can't you tell? <laughs> Danny, he's asking for your help. I mean, yeah. you, you you can do whatever you want. You can pretend to help, um, or you can I will do choose my best. something. Okay, so um, give me a perception check, huh? Okay. Because you're searching the bodies, technically. Can I play my own sound effects? <laughs> Uh, you've, you 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 got to remember to add to oh, shoot. collect the I, skill. I grabbed the wrong thing. Hold That's fine. Sec. That's fine. There we go. 19. 19. Look at that. A good perception roll. So, um, as you're looking through it, uh, you point out basically the same thing Ock did. Uh, you know, uh, these people look like they were might have been shot with darts prior to dying uh or maybe that was the cause of the death you're not really sure you're not the medical professional here um but you do recognize the you know dart wounds and uh other fun stuff like that uh the the, the you do also point out that these are two separate types of individuals you've got three mages and what looks like to be maybe uh, due to the lack of uh, calluses, 
and just wear on their clothing that they might have been maybe more of the support staff that was here. Mm. Um, you know, records keepers, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, maybe well, even the foreman. Have, maybe one of these was the foreman. Have you uh, checked for poison or anything on these things? I, I, hello? <laughs> I don't know. Dr. I'm Quack. asking, Doctor Quack, Doctor Quack, yes, calling, calling. Doctor Quack, Quack. 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 Quack um mr ock had found a dot and after we decided that it was no way anything to do with my own blowgun we I'm... strongly suspect that they may have been some sort of poison ivy rolling around in a field is where we were going and so i decided I... to call you over does poison ivy kill it remember does, where it we does are when you roll an eight okay. on a medical check re re remember <laughs> We just dealt with a spider or a bug that was really bigger than a, you know, right. it's not something I could squish with my foot. Hey. Um, Mifrit, you want to go join them or are you going to ignore the pleas for help? No, nope, I'm over here. Let's party on, Garth. <laughs> here I am. Awesome. Um, you want to do a perception check or do you want to do a nature check? I think I'm going to do a nature check. Okay. Those are in my those are my friend right now. Nature check is all your friend. 18. Um you take the dart that Ock has handed you, you find the other part of it in the right body and you're sniffing the wound and you know getting out a few of your 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 mistletoe and your your berries and you're like <laughs> What's he gonna dipping do? it around and, and <laughs> sorry it's swirling it's Christmas swirling. mistletoe <laughs> and uh you know you, you you get the reaction that you weren't expecting it's definitely a bug poison um it could be from any of the uh creatures from either a spider maybe a centipede it could be um it, it's it's a it's a venom um uh, definitely a venom uh, that knocked these three out. Uh, and then after looking at the other people, you're realizing maybe these other three, the mages, were the ones hit with the poison. But these other three, you, you, you don't know. They weren't caused by a natural uh, bug or bear or any kind of animal. These were definitely probably done um, by weapons maybe but you're no expert so i'll explain my finds to the group um maybe suggest we need to poke around a little bit more um can we cast the detect magic spell right here in the immediate area to see if it points in any direction is there a particular path anything maybe specific that we can find Nope, unfortunately not. Poisons are not magical, so... Or at least these poisons aren't. So you're just getting the usual... Um, the the Your beetle is putting off some magic. Um, something that you would only think to suspect from magical beasts. Um, but that shouldn't be classified as a magical beast, you don't think. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, so we're back to the beginning of another 10-minute action i'm guessing so let's just start at the top and dr quack with that all that information what would you like to do uh obviously there's been some foul play i mean the wound suggests there's more than just vermin running about and where are the other like i, I don't believe that one or even a pack of those beetles could sort of polish off you know 30 miners and then all of a sudden I would really like to determine the time of death, how long these boys have been cadavers. You know, is it a, a week, 
three days, a month. What kind of uh, rigor mortis and decay is set in? Okay, you're going to spend your time getting more details. I think so. Okay. Um, I've shared my thoughts as I go, and, you know, hopefully they'll carry on to help, but... Uh, all right. Ock, what would you like to do for your ten minute... Uh, just search, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> just search, more or less. That's, it. That's all I can do, so... Okay. Um, well, you can help with my medical checks. You seem to be a stout fellow. I know it's a few things up here. No. <laughs> no well, that's a day. That's since... all I, get. I get one aid another day. That's all. You're very helpful. Yeah. That's all so you were searching just the grounds in general? Yeah. Well, yeah, because or... I was just okay. waiting for everybody else to finish with their search so we can move on. Okay. Um, and Danny, what would you like to do? I would like to move on to a new tent, like this one over here. Okay. And Mifford, what would you like to do, good sir? Roughly how many bodies do I see sitting around here? Uh, Dr. Quack has very confidently confirmed six bodies. Dr. Quack happened to confirm that they were all dead. Yes, yes, he did. They definitely were all really dead. All right, then I'm going to go over here and take my 10 minutes with this tent. Okay, so... You guys are doing the tents, Dr. Quack. All right, Dr. Quack. After rigorous tests and lovely amount of cursing um, and the, just the generic scientific process, uh, you managed to piece together that to the best of your knowledge, these people died two days ago. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe not, but definitely with, you know, two to three days. Um, now, Ock, uh, after some just generic kicking around, something caught your eye as you were searching the grounds. You... All you know after you know the, the battle is worn down the the grounds there isn't a lot to go with but you do find something that interests you a lot um, and that is the fact that you are definitely seeing signs that a group of people individuals monsters you're not really sure but they slowly seem to have encircled the campground uh, maybe four days ago depending on how old the tracks are um and it looks like that might have been the cause for all of this ruckus you're you got away from the the camp a little bit and uh you found where they kind of started to disperse but it's definitely looks like uh you might have had a, a group of individuals maybe monsters uh come from the direction of where the tunnel was being dug Oh. I will relay this information to the party. Jared, you uh, slid like way down in the corner on your camera. <laughs> oh, really? We're, we're like 40 minutes of like this tiny little dude in the corner being the DM. I need you like <laughs> large and charged in the center. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. Uh, I think my chair's shrinking a little bit. <sighs> You're too young to shrink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, my chair's shrinking, not me. Well, just you know. Your chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, all right. Um, Danny, you, again, doing the searching, searching, you think you might have found something important. You've definitely found, um, it looks like notes, some personal notes. Um, you, you managed to find a few... I can drop these in. Oh. 
So you find some notes. Okay. And you each, if you, if any of you want to actually read those aloud, otherwise I will do it. Um, but uh, there they are. I can read them, unless. Okay. No, go ahead. No, That's should. fine. <clears throat> Foreman's notes number one, nine zero two six seven eight A S. Engineers arrived today, along with all the supplies. Where to build the tunnel all the way through this old mine shaft? Should be done in nine months if the magic and engineers can work together. Workforce. Ten miners, three mages, twenty workers on monthly shifts, one shaman of the ancestors, and two engineers. Foreman note number three. During my boy's excavation of the new tunnel, we've been running into older, pre-sunder construction. We found a room off in the east passageway. Lots of cave-in, but we've got a collection of stuff planning on sending it back to Grimm. Foreman's note number five. A combat squad was sent to deal with our latest issues. They seem to be having similar issues as we are having with our tools. Running into new creatures too. I'm a little worried. And that is the end of the three notes. All right. After that, uh, not, nothing else really in this tent. It looks like someone kind of ramshackled it um, already. Uh, but after the notes, there isn't much of anything else here. Uh, even the pillow is gone. All right. Um, Mifrit. Uh, yes, you. Sir going through the the tent also you've noticed there seems to be have been a scuffle you find some blood in the one of the corners um but no body nothing like that but you do find the fourth foreman note foreman notes number four we've been running into problems quite a few actually i sent a request with my initial thoughts should hear something new back within a week Grim is pretty good about keeping this on schedule. End of Foreman's note number four. All right. So that is the end of your additional time. Uh, is there anything else any of you want to do? And I don't see anything else. That's the end of what I find here in the tent through rummaging around. Yeah, like I said, it seems to have been a tent that they used to hold supplies possibly. Uh, out of the rain, that kind of thing. But there's nothing in here except that blood stain and that note. No usable supplies. Nope. The only reason you can make that out is because you've got the dead grass stains of like circular objects and square objects, and um, it's it, it's a very good guess. All right, very good. I would like to bring attention to. Well, I guess we're not really. We're kind of spread out. Um. I would like to see if I can get everybody to convene and uh, share my note and my findings with them. I would assume that my cohort here of sorts, Danny, would also like to do the same. Um, yeah. Uh, did anybody check this tent out? Hmm. No. Maybe we should do that. Hmm. Do I have enough room to let to uh, I have time? Do I have time to move on down here? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm not preventing. I'm just curious if there's anything else anybody else wants to do. Yeah, no, I think I'd like that. I'm with Danny I'm down here and uh, take the time to search this one out. And then maybe we can convene and share our findings. Yeah. All right. Um. So in here, you find uh, what looks like to have been the next set of uh, stuff that's supposed to go off to Grimm. Um, it looks like mostly just ruined pickaxes and shovels and um, even some weapons are just, they, they look like someone dropped them in acid. They're okay, just so they're rusting. All the tools they're and stuff that we've come across are all all degraded, degraded, pitted, 
corroded. Um, it doesn't seem like anything, uh, any of the tools, nothing like that seems to be doing well. Uh, and after some looking, you find a, 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 a box that's got a lock on it. Um, would you like to attempt to open it? I would like to attempt to open it. All right. You, you want to do thievery or do you want to do brute force? I will do thievery, actually. Okay. Hmm? 25. Okay, you pick that lock like a pro. Woohoo, look at you. You got skill. <laughs> I'm not leaving my stuff around where you can get it. <laughs> so, inside you find two very um, uh, immaculate letters, but you don't recognize the paper they're on. And you don't really recognize too much of anything on these except for the language. It seems to, uh, with some time, you can actually understand these things. But oh. it's definitely like an older form of common. Huh. And okay. so you've got two more notes. Do I read them? I can. Okay. <clears throat> Unknown <laughs> author number one. A research... Excuse me. A research prior to this expedition has come up extremely short, even with the knowledge that the outside world would be different than what is in the history books inside the Council of Knowledge. There seems to be a form of alchemical or magical effect that seems to alter the species across the continent. We are running into things that we know did not exist in the past, and we now have a new problem that we were not prepared for. As a man of science, I am happy to announce that even though this journey has become more dangerous, much has come from the diving we have done over the course of this year. Hmm, interesting. And we have one other note. Confederation of Arcanum Memo. The League of Magic has announced their plan to attempt a mythic level ritual at the end of the year. All Confederation members are to only involve themselves at their own activities and allow this experiment to go through, but also to prepare for all eventualities, for the freedom of advancement. Now, that last note is completely different than everything else. It is made from a completely different paper. It almost looks like it's some type of metal. It's, it's very metallic. Uh, it's nothing that is produced today um and the ink is still pristine the imagery on it is very calligraphal very like um uh, uh propagandist uh if you will it's it's there to catch the eye it's there to draw you in and make you read the note um and it's the one thing that doesn't fit anything else here it's the one thing that sticks out more than anything. So that is all the information here. Um, and uh, so you guys need to decide, are you going to return with the information or right. are you going to go on and see what's might have happened to the... Uh, uh, I'd like to throw a lore check into here. Okay. Was our mission not to actually check and report on this place? Your your actual quest was to come and check in with the foreman and get a progress report. Right. You haven't checked in with a foreman. The camp is completely empty. You definitely have got the evidence to prove that something right. happened here. So maybe search for survivors. I mean, we've only found six bodies. Um, and Auk did find where it looks like people converged from or to and dispersed. But then it all seems to be pointing back to the uh, tunnel that was being dug. I have a lore check of 23. And what are you, per se, trying to lure up? Anything that I might find that is possible. Um, military, magic. Uh, let's go with military and magic. Okay. On the node or just the general area? 
Now, right here in this general, now let's go with on the note, on, on, the, on the two notes that we have. Okay. Um, well, you do know that the memo does have a very structured appearance to it. It definitely looks like something that would have been handed out almost like a flyer. It wasn't actually like, they call it a memo, but it might not have actually been a memo. It almost looks like it was like a general um, broadcast. Uh, a little bit of, I mean, you're taking the time to do the lore check, so you probably still have Detect Magic on it. This thing's got, definitely has magic on it. You can't completely identify it. It's similar, but not completely the same as the magic that you're familiar with. Um, and it is definitely some form of preservation, like you would have to dispel whatever's on this to actually destroy this paper. All right. Um, While I'm the at The other this... note is definitely mm -hmm. something, the way that it's written, it is at least 100 years old, maybe a little bit older, um, but it is from at least, it's enough recognition to place it from this area, uh, from the council, just from the wording and, and stuff. Maybe uh, if you are a historian, you could pinpoint it better, but um, for right now, you know, that's the best you can do. All surmise. Right. I'm going to throw an occultism on it. And okay. See what, and see what we get. Hmm, not much. It's only a seven. I don't believe I'll get much out of it. Okay. So do we have a direction we would like to go next time? Home. Oh, where do you think you're going? <laughs> home sweet home. Oh, don't That's be. Do you want to head back? In the wild. Um, I think I'd. I think I would like to suggest to our group that we sort of convene here in a central location, say around this nice stump here. Yeah, give everybody a chance to see what uh, we found, and come up with any other information, and then. Uh, check out the. The tunnel? Well, I think if we convene and we make a plan, that would be my thoughts. My suggestion would be too with Danny. Maybe we need to check out this tunnel. I think we should actually Twitch chat. If you want us to check the dangerous tunnel, say so in the chat. If you want us to go home, don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's game starts in two weeks. Party vote. Party <laughs> vote. Party <laughs> vote. No. Well, we, so, already, we already know that I'm a loose cannon, so I'm going to go for checking the tunnel. There's yeah, Okay, we got there. one vote for checking the tunnel. My, my guy is just erring on the side of caution, you know. Okay, wanna, so I one to go to back no and report. And, I just no think if we go all the way back and, and explain everything that we found, they'll go, well, did you check the tunnel? No, we'll go back and check the tunnel. Oh, okay, mom. I guess we'll... Okay, so Warrior. is that a vote for check the tunnel, Danny? Yes. Okay. Ock, Ock, you're the Ock. man. <laughs> what do you say there, Ock? Well, yeah, our quest was to uh, find the foreman and relay everything to the foreman. We have yet to do that, so our quest is not done. Fine. We're finding the foreman. Okay. Democracy wins again. Yay. Off we go. <laughs> Going into the tunnel of death. Did I say that out loud? Hey, the tunnel um, of death. Do you, do you uh. need to prepare that blowgun? <laughs> can, can you blowgun yourself? Like, is that even. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> next time. On Simply Second Edition. Well, I think that turned out rather well. I agree. Jared, thank you very much. This is yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that was awesome. Lots of fun. Lots of technical abilities that we're ironing out, but we will see you next time. Say goodnight, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody.